really proud of our team. I thought it was a complete team win. Um, we struggled more offensively at times. Um, and then at times we looked, you know, really good. Defensively, uh, you take away the one big play on fourth and three. And I, I don't know that we could have played a whole lot better than what we did with five turnovers. T.J. Metcalf had two two picks and hustled down the sideline when he broke and, and forced a fumble there that we that we got. So what a what a wonderful game he had. Um, but you know we told seventy four guys we're going to go win. We've got a better team, and I don't mean that cocky or anything. I just felt like we could come in here and win, but. Those things are easier said than done. Defense, Coach Williams and those guys had them playing lights out. Offensively, uh, when they did score, I, th I thought we did a great job of, of driving 75 yards to score to go up 10. Didn't put the game away, but it was close. And um, uh, so I thought we played in special teams. I thought played really well. Um we made the field goal to put us up 10. We hadn't been doing that. We hadn't been going up two scores, you know. It's been tight, tight, tight when we had opportunities. And certainly tonight, going down and answering the touchdown with a touchdown to go back up 10 put a tremendous amount of pressure on them. And uh, so um, I'm proud of the coaches and proud of, proud of the kids. And um, – is a big win and just very, very thankful that we got out of here with more points than they did. But you mentioned TJ Metcalf, uh, you know, a huge game for him, but in his home state, I mean, what did that mean for him? I mean, he was excited and electric. Well, he practices hard. Him and his brother, they come from a very strong pair of athletic background, as you well know. But he's just a great kid. He wants to be good. And, uh, I'm just so very, very happy that things are going his way. Um, I guess that's three picks in two games now, but um, he works hard and he's a very good tackler, physical guy, and uh, he's earning the respect more and more uh, from his teammates. And and uh, well, I know, damn sure we believe in him. Coach, what were you thinking on the third and 19 when Green rolls out of the pocket and finds the team to beat? I was thinking we planned it. No. I, that was a hell of a catch because I felt like it might have been pass interference. And, you know, and you go, that's a 60 yard, you get it on the two. Uh, but Shatagna went up there and we needed a play. And things were going bad at that point, tied up. I think we were tied up at that point, maybe up three. Can't remember. And uh, and then he threw that long one, and Satanus just made a great play on it, and I think it put us up seven. How do you explain the defensive game plan that you had, and what maybe meant to Travis to come back down with? Well, I don't know if I've said it in here. I've been at radio, but Trav gave Travis uh, the game ball. Uh, I think it meant a lot to him. Um, Playing here, I know he's got love for Auburn, but I, I know that win was big for him. I, I had to be. Uh, the game plan, uh, I went back and forth in there several, several times this week and go, hey, now, we're going to make that quarterback beat us. We're going to make the quarterback beat us. We're going to make the quarterback beat us. And Tuesday wasn't exactly what I thought how we was going to make the quarterback beat us. Uh, he said, hey, coach, we haven't put in this, haven't put in this, and – and I thought they did a wonderful job. You know, Hunter, he's a good running back, you know. And so um, we didn't stymie him. I mean, he got 67 yards. But for him, that's probably not. For us, we held him that way. We did a nice job in 12 carries on him. It was tough going with the run game a little bit. Did you see the replay of Quinton's last touchdown? His elbow just went over the goal line. Yeah, it was. How big was that? Well, I thought it was way over when I watched it. I thought he was, was that the front of the goal line or the back end? Because I, I, he was way in there when I saw it. It was close, but you couldn't overturn it, and and he did. I mean, the ball got to the line, but that was about strain down there. We needed it. I was going to go for it um, on fourth down. I don't know why we wouldn't try to get up to scores, you know. Uh, but unfortunately, we didn't have to. But 
uh, you know, he makes plays. 22 makes plays. And uh, he didn't have quite the game that he normally does, but he had a really good SEC game. Sam, he hadn't had a lot of takeaways the first three games and five today. Yeah. Was five the last track. Yeah, and it was. We needed every one of them. Yeah. Well, just what you think of all those takeaways? Sometimes they come in. They come in, you know, they, they they just, you get one. Tip balls get caught. Our tip balls get caught. Their tip balls get caught. We just, you know, we haven't had a lot of tip balls uh, defensively, but when the ones that we did, we, you know, we got them. And, and uh, I, th I still think that has a lot to do with pressure. I mean, if you go back and you look at not every interception, but a lot of them, it's about the pressure, the hit. It's something. Guys standing back there for a while, uh, you don't really get them. So we were covering them well, Bob, but I felt like uh, we got more pressure on the quarterback than what we had our first three games. What did you think of Stanley Green, you know, coming out of possession, but then when it comes back in, leading that touchdown drive, it seemed like it kind of flipped the game. Yeah, well, we didn't bench him. He had, he had cramps. He was cramping up and, and, uh, uh, and then him, you know, getting some fluids in him and then coming back. Uh, it shows – a lot about what we know about the kid from summer workouts and all, you know what I mean? It, that's who we see. And uh, offensive line wise, running backs, wide outs, tailing uh, to go down. That was a big, big drive in the game. And for them guys to execute and get it all done, a great, great uh, call calling by coach Petrino uh, to get down there and, and get it in was is awesome. Coach, what kind of confidence, confidence does this give the football team? Well, it should a lot, but you know, as you guys know, I've had confidence in this team since we started developing the team in spring. Uh, uh, so it should. I think we were a pretty confident team, you know. Um, uh, but this will certainly help us, and and Auburn's Auburn, and Jordan Hare, Jordan Hare, and. To come in here and forget about two years ago and forget about last year, you know. When you do it, it's it's special. And I'm sure it was for them last year and very, very special for us uh, to, today. I think I read this right in the notes. I already said one back to back games here since 06 and 08. Say again, I'm sorry. I already said one back to back games at Auburn since 2006 and 2008, those two trips. And just how big is that to get back to back road wins in a place like this? Well, I think it's hard. I mean, when we were at Georgia, I was coaching at Georgia, it was hard to come in here, you know. And uh, uh, most SEC stadiums are that way, you know. But yeah, I can't, Bob, I can't tell you that I'm, I haven't thought about it, you know. I have. And that's one of those things that when I get old and gray and, and don't coach anymore, um, those are one of those memories that I'll have be very fond of. From a big picture, I mean, what does this mean for you, the program, just kind of where you got Well, be? we have to go beat Texas A&M, you know. Um, um, but what it does, it, you know, it gives you a shot in the arm. You know, it makes you feel good and makes practice a little bit easier. And, and uh, but uh, just because – I believe that we've got a really good team and we can go win on the road. You have to go do it. And I don't want to put last year or nine and four season. I don't want to put any of them together. I just want to play this season. And we're three and one, lost double overtime. Oklahoma State and and we all know we had our chances there. And then we'll go. But I think what it does, it lets our recruits know that we can go on the road and win an SEC and and we want to know we're tied for the top, you know, and uh, that's a big deal. Um, it looks like you made sure to get Braylon Russell involved early. Just what did you think of the way he impacted the game? I thought he ran hard. I mean, there on the last drive, he went up there. I don't know what his 15, 12, 15 yard run, uh, hit it, hit it fast. Uh, you know, he's just like any freshman. Most of them, it has to, you get a few, you get a little bit more next week, get a little bit more next week, and uh, but he's definitely a big part of our plan for the future, and I'm proud he, I'm proud of him. He works hard and and does a really good job for us, and has earned his way up on the depth chart. Yeah, I know that Caitlin, someone could be speaking.
put a warning and then continue to develop the, that chemistry with the wide receivers who aren't named Andrew Armstrong. I know that Isaiah Sabini has that big ball, but just continue. And yeah, I, I just think this, and that's a fair question. I, I just think this, that all that works together. In other words, those other guys, they have to get open, and then we have to give them time. I mean, we busted a 63 protection today. A, a running back busted it. Well, if when you do that, you have no time. And uh, I just think we have to get better as a whole. And when we do, I think he'll find – and make no mistake, I'm happy as hell when he throws it to two. Uh, but we've got to find – more targets for nine and six and five. I mean, we tried to get the ball to five a bunch tonight and 17 and 82, you know, but I think it all works hand in hand. The back's got to be better at protection. The line's got to be better at protection. We got to be better in route running to get the whole thing involved. And I think it will help Taylor when we do that as well. How crucial was that last touchdown run to take so much time off the clock that you did? That was, um, I mean, it was, the game, you know, at that point, it's, I mean, that's pretty cool now to, to have, we're up 10 deflated for a second and then turn around and go, no, we're going to go 75 on you. Now, everything wasn't pretty. It was pretty because we went 75 and we scored and we took time off the clock, but uh, we got a lot to work on, but man, it feels good to win and uh, we'll work. Uh, gosh, guys, it, it feels good. Dick Scott, if I'm right, I think he started. He did. And, and I know he had a good game last week. What led to that? Well, he just has been coming on and coming on. Nothing, uh, to be honest with you, any more than, you know, you got to reward players that are playing good. And uh, that's T. Will came to me, and, and that's what we decided to do. That's nothing against anybody's fans or anybody. Uh, he just had been playing well.